Hey friends, um, so today's video is going to be about my teacher planner. Um, I've gotten a lot of requests about this. Um, this video is going to go through, um, I'm going to film the entire inside, um, talk about the covers and how I created it. Um, I use Teachers Pay Teachers to purchase the um, covers and the actual inside um, forms. Um, every form that came in the teacher binder is not in here. I actually created separate folders with a lot of the stuff, um, like IEP forms and all that stuff. Um, so I can film a separate um, video talking about how I used everything that it came with that bundle. Um, but this is what, just like what I ended up using for my planner. Um, so to create this, I did buy from two separate sellers. The binder covers came in a farmhouse bundle. Um, and then the actual inside came from someone else. Um, so I will link both of them down below. All together to create this, it cost me under $15. Um, I printed it and laminated it at home and then just took it to Office Depot to have it found. Um, and that costed about $4. So um, the only thing that I really paid for was the content itself, which was from Teachers Pay Teachers. Um, so yeah, if you're excited to see how you can create your own customized planner, keep watching. Hello guys! Um, so this is actually my teacher planner. Um, I have put this together through the Teacher Pay Teacher purchases that I made. Um, two purchases were used to make this. Um, one being these binder covers that came in a bundle I bought, um, I believe from Confetti Classroom. I'll have to check and I'll link her down below, but um, it's under the Farmhouse Collection. So all of these cover pages, um, like anything I laminated, were not from, oh, that's not one. Um, these were all from a different person than the inserts and stuff like that. Um, okay, so right when you open it, I have teacher information, and I'm not going to show the first page because it just shows my name, room number, and um, school information. But then when you go in, I have my websites, um, any professional development I've done. I then have my schedule, um, my class list with medical, um, a roster. I then have transportation and special services. I have a few of those, as well as parent volunteers. Um, in the next section, I have all my student logins, and I have several pages of this for the many different websites that they'll use. Um, I also have a birthday chart. Because I'm teaching third grade, I don't really feel like they need to have one on the wall. I feel like they're old enough to um, just kind of like have me keep track of it. Um, and then finally, in this section, I also have student data. Um, I find student data extremely important um, in student teaching. I learned more about that than anything ever. Um, and so I've really enjoyed creating lessons based on the data that I collect. Um, last year I had 60 students and I still use data vigorously. And so I know having 25, I'm going to be insane with it. Um, so I'm probably going to use these pages for maps, scores, and reading, and all of that stuff so I can keep track in one place their growth um, in the sections that they're kind of struggling with. Um, so I have a lot of pages for this for that reason because I really want to be able to keep track of it um, all in one place and use it to lesson plan. Um, which leads me to the next section I will go to, um, gradebook. We have an electronic gradebook and I accidentally put this in upside down so I don't really know if I'll use it for grading. I'll probably just use it for um, keeping track and checking off names for like field trip forms and stuff. But okay, so calendars and lesson plans. So this is like my most favorite part. This is a year at a glance. I'll probably just use this like the um, county calendar is used. Um, just to kind of show days off and teacher work days. Um, and then when you go in, you have special events, future planning, so kind of long term, not very specific. And then I will skip July because I have a lot of stuff written there already. Um, and then let's go to a month. So August. Every month has the um, month, birthdays, um, previous and next month. 
um, a little quote to get you through and a to-do section. Um, so this is for every single month. It looks the exact same except for a different quote, different month, and obviously the numbers are different. Um, for every week, you will see it is much more simple, and I am so obsessed with that. I do not like having too many things in the way, any images while I'm planning. I need a clear cut canvas. Um, so this is perfect for me. It gives you note space, goal space, um, six subjects, and you know, it's just perfect. Um, I did have to go in and put these specific dates in, which was kind of annoying, but I mean, once it was done, it was done. Um, and again, every single month has that same layout. Then in the back, we have notes. Um, this is just something good if I just have to go to a faculty meeting and I don't want to carry anything extra. Um, and in case of emergency, I also put in some meeting notes in case I forget my IEP 504 folder. Um, accidentally, I have my planner and I can still work with it. Um, and then I just made whatever the last page was, the back. So yeah, that is my uh, teacher planner. Okay, y'all, so the first thing I'm going to show you is how the actual teacher binder um, comes. Um, so again, it comes in this format in a PowerPoint so that you can edit it. Um, it also has a PDF version so that you can just um, print it out and not edit it. So it's up to you. Personally, if I'm going to buy something like this, I want to completely make it the way I want it. So you'll see here that there's some blanks, um, like right here. These are to ensure that the back cover is blank. Um, and just like these like spaces in between are blank. Um, so these like inserts, that's what these blank things are for. And they are supposed to be there. Another thing, so I just want to kind of show you what it comes with. Some of the things, because there's so much. This is like 300 um, slides long and I just don't have the time um, but so you get professional development um, multiples you get a section on class information um, schedule to um, specials um, and roster and lists of medical issues and all this stuff um, let's try and scoot forward a little bit so more of these um, you get more medical info, condition and treatment, um, special services, and then we go to student information. So this will be more specific towards your students, um, logins and stuff like that, um, just a little bit more about them, um, guardians and contact, and then we have the logins and it just shows their login. We have a class calendars, so um, dates to remember, birthdays, whole year at a glance, future planning, um, and then it goes into July and so on. So then it will do all of the months. So going down is going to be every single month. Um, then it will have a section on lesson plans. So then it goes weekly. Um, again, you have these blanks in place just to make sure everything opens up correctly. Um, when I go, when I made mine, I actually went in and fixed these. I did not leave the um, numbers looking like this in the month. That's the cool thing about editing. Um, so again, tons of pages on weekly lesson planning for the entire year. Um, so in this version, it is separate lesson plans and calendar. In my planner, you'll see I set it up a little differently. Um, and so I'm going past all these weekly to get to a new section. So another section is grade book. So it has an option to do grades. Um, there's also an option for behavior log. Um, there's also an option for attendance. Um, and then we can go into student data. It leaves places for you to put like testing and stuff like that. We then also have parent communication, 
tons of contact information stuff. Um, let's see, communication logs so you can keep track of who you've contacted and when. Um, and there's a few different formats. Um, then we also have parent conferences. So there is reminders in here. There is um, progress reports. There is even, um, I think it's in its own section. So this is Accelerator Reader. We don't use that, so um, if you do, you know, they have that too. Um, there is even like IEP forms and stuff in here, guys. So this is an RTI form. Um, we have intervention log. This is messed up a little bit. Um, an RTI assessment. So there are so many different forms that come in here. Um, then we have the IEP stuff. Um, it's just really, really loaded. This thing has everything you could possibly need. Um, so literacy and small group planning. This was my favorite thing. I created an entire separate folder using this. If you want um, to see how I do that, I can show that video as well. Um, but I mean, it has a literacy, reading, planning, um, notes, pages to write on each of your student and your groups, a page to group your students, um, just super cool stuff. I'm just kind of going through this quick now because it's a lot. And then of course it does the same thing for math. So you have your groups, um, and then you have your activities. Another way you can plan. So yeah, it just, it comes with so much. Um, so now really quickly, I will show you, I did not use these inserts. Um, this is like kind of, to me, more traditional farmhouse and I was doing more modern. So I did use a separate purchase from a bundle I bought. Um, so these are actually by Confetti and Creativity or something like that, but she's amazing. Um, so she has a bundle of binder covers. And so these are what I actually used in my planner um, for those inserts and um, cover pages. Um, so this is the one I used for my main front cover and I'm obsessed with these and everything else in that bundle so if you I'm going to do a separate video on that bundle um so yeah so say that I want to now pick and choose from this you do not have to go through and do this so what you do is you create a new presentation you go to new slide insert slides from other presentation and then I would select in here, so in here I'm going to type in the PowerPoint, um, edible farmhouse teacher binder, and then I can go through now, let's see what pops up, oh, did I mess up, oh, there it is, okay, and then I can go through and select which pages I want to insert from this thing and it's so cool because you can pick and select every single page um, and then if I want to go and change and add in these like binder covers from a different PowerPoint I just hit open new file and I type in that PowerPoint and then I can add some of these too so this took me, um, I would say, about a few hours to do. Um, but once it was done, I had the perfect planner. And on Teachers Pay Teachers, I spent a total of, um, for this, $7 for the binder. And then these covers I had already had from, um, from a bundle that I purchased. But I think you can buy them for like $2 separately. Um, so, yeah. I hope that was helpful.